Hi Cancer, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it might not resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed as well. And let's see, what is the major theme for Cancer? First half of March. 2021. Oh, we have two here. We have big dreams and we have action. All right, okay, so either you or the person you're dealing with has had a big dream, something that you have wanted to happen, something that you have wanted to achieve, and I see that there is action being taken in that direction towards those big dreams. All right, it could be in relation to this connection, um, <clears throat> but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. It could just be a more overall um, general feeling of what it is that you would want to have accomplished in your life. And that could also include a relationship. All right, so let's get into it. It's a very positive start for your reading, Cancer. Let's see. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of March 2021. Alright, so for you, we have the Two of Cups. Alright, so yeah, this could be about a connection. The Knight of Cups. Ooh, wow. And the Nine of Cups. Wow, like, do we even need to continue in this reading? Like, I, I don't know, I just feel like this is amazing. Like, I almost don't want to continue. Um, let me just get your person's energy real quick. The King of Swords, the Knight, sorry, the Hermit, and the King of Wands. All right. So it looks like, yeah, you are in a very, very love type of an energy right now. Um, I feel like you're actually pretty... Um, optimistic about where things are heading. I don't know if you're necessarily there just yet, but I feel like you are moving in that direction. There's a connection that it could be possibly you that is moving towards it or someone is moving towards you towards something that would actually be a wish fulfillment. All right. So there is movement in that direction and it's coming from a place of love. Um, for your person here, and again, don't forget the roles can be reversed. There's a lot of <clears throat> determination. Some of you might be dealing um, with the Virgo. I'm, I'm seeing air sign. I'm seeing fire sign. Okay, so it could be anything pretty much. Um, a lot of determination. However, it feels like this person is doing a lot of thinking. I think we also had this card in Aquarius. For the other person all right so i don't know if some of you are dealing with an aquarius or maybe you have aquarius in your charts but with having the two kings here this person might seem a little bit withdrawn lately or coming up in march um, but it's because they're doing a lot of inner work they're thinking a lot about the situation in a very mature way so there's both a lot of reasoning, a lot of logic, but there's also a lot of passion and overcoming obstacles. So, so far, can Cancer, your reading is looking great. Let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have Judgment, The Lovers, and The Four of Wands. <laughs> all right, so far, this is like the best reading, all right, from all of the signs that I've done so far. Um, and I think you are the 10th sign, actually, that, that I am um, doing a reading for. So... Wow. Pretty jealous of cancer right now. So yeah, coming up in the near future or in the potential future, there's a lot of awakenings. There's a lot of achievements, all right? Especially when it comes to a love connection and to finding stability within that and a coming together. I mean, this is just beautiful. It could be that this was a connection where there has been a split and there is a coming back together, giving things a second chance. And I feel like with that second chance things seem to be working out all right now if you feel like you're done with the person that you're watching for this is probably not your reading and you might want to watch um one of your other signs because i'm seeing this as something that could definitely definitely work out and bring a lot of happiness 
So let's let's clarify. I kind of don't want to, but because I feel like any any negatives that come up are probably just going to be um, just little you know details, just little obstacles that will overall be able to be overcome. All right, let's see. I actually for your energy, I want to clarify that Knight of Cups. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Devil. So I knew there would be something, obviously. If we're clarifying, something's bound to come up. Because things are never 100% perfect, but the overall energy does seem to, to be almost perfect. All right, so yeah, whoever is, this person is that is coming towards you or you're moving towards them, I feel like there's been a lot of work that has already been done, all right, with oneself within oneself. There has been a lot of um, healing and a lot of just, I feel it's, it's like developing is what I'm getting, developing um, one's own gifts or one's own abilities, reaching potentials is the way it's coming through here. And there has been a lot of work that has been put um, in in order to achieve that. And actually, even with this devil, I feel like if this is just whoever this is, this person is still working on removing toxicity, fears, or anything that was like negative, like negative attachments. All right, which could have even been with another person here. All right, with, with the Queen of Pentacles showing up. Definitely a lot of, a lot of work when it comes to that and possibly some planning here revolving this, um, whatever was toxic. Let me see the Nine of Cups. Ooh, the Knight of Cups again. I'm telling you, things are heading in that direction for sure. So that's why this devil isn't even really um, bothering me or concerning me. So we also have Justice and the Five of Cups. All right. Things are definitely heading in the right direction here, okay? There are karmic cycles that are possibly being closed out here with justice. I feel like it's things from the past. Um, again, being closed out, being resolved, decisions being made in a way that is moving towards, that's the action, in a way that is moving towards that Nine of Cups, that wish fulfillment, that happiness. However, whatever that is, it does involve releasing something from the past here with the Five of Cups. So there could still be some, some sadness attached to, to this in some way. Something, possibly still holding on to something from the past, but I, again, I feel like it's more of something that, that is being released. It's not something that is going to really play a huge role here because, I mean, these are some very strong positive cards that we have. All right, especially with justice being here. This is just indicating that, yeah, you know, things are not just always going to be that easy, but you are moving in the right direction. You are moving in the direction of, of justice. Even if there is something still from the past that might be making you a little bit sad, you're taking action on these big dreams um, or that action is being taken towards you. Could be that you're holding on to some guilt, maybe, from the past. Or it could even be that there, whatever it is that happened between the two of you in the past was something that maybe you felt like you, it, it's difficult for you to forgive. But I actually see you working through that here. All right, let's see for your person. Let's see the King of Swords. The Seven of Swords and the Fool. All right, yeah. So there has been something maybe that this person had been avoiding in the past. This person may have 
done um, something that may have felt a little bit shady to you, like maybe they weren't completely upfront, maybe it was just um, hiding certain things from you, not fully opening up, whatever that is, I feel like they're taking action now in the opposite direction, all right, because they have this very, very determined energy surrounding them, all right, they're wanting to take some kind of a leap of faith, some kind of a um, new beginning here, and I feel like that is going to be away from that Seven of Swords energy that was in the past, which may be what was causing you to hold on a little bit to something that happened in the past that was that's still bothering you, but I feel like that is pretty much resolving itself. Let me see the Hermit. Look at all these Knights. <laughs> all right, the Knight of Swords. I mean, these are a lot of action cards. And actually, when I first began shuffling the Clarifying deck, I had the Ace of Swords pop out, which is also action. Um, <clears throat> so we have action mixed in with a little bit of an action here with the, with the Hermit and the Four of Swords. But that's, again, it's because they're healing, all right? It, which is what I said in the very beginning before I clarified. This person is seemingly, and this could even be with a, something with the Seven of Swords as well, that this person, they are determined, right? They're thinking logically. They're, they're taking action, but they're hiding it, okay? So that could even be what they're hiding, currently, if it wasn't that they were hiding something in the past. Could even be both. All right, because I'm getting the same message here, that they are holding back. They're a little bit withdrawn currently, but they are taking action with that Knight of Swords. There's something that they're doing, and whatever that is, it's bringing a lot of healing. All right, but <clears throat> they seem to be passive here. But they're not. <laughs> they're not. We have the Fool... Uh, these kings, the knights, this person is not passive. It just seems that way from the outside. But there's a lot of things going on here behind the scenes and within them. Let's see the king of wands. The high priestess. Yeah, there you go. They're hiding. <laughs> They're hiding what they're doing. This person is moving, um, I feel, even quickly towards you in a way that you, you don't even know. So even if you are in contact and there has been some kind of an issue, this person is resolving this issue. It's just not apparent yet. I feel like they're going to present it to you kind of uh, maybe even unexpectedly here with the with the Fool and, and Judgment. Um, definitely reminding me a little bit of Aquarius again. So let's clarify. Let's see Judgment. The lovers. <laughs> like, are you freaking kidding me, right? Because we have the lovers also right here. Second time. Wow. I see a reconciliation now coming up. I feel like there's going to be something new about this also, all right? Together with the Fool and, the, and um, Judgment. There's definitely going to be something new, a reconciliation, but more like a rebirth of this connection. Let me clarify the lovers. Death. A lot of major arcana here. So this talks about that transformation. Like this is really going, and the four of wands at the bottom of the deck, which we have here as your very last card as well. Um, this talks about a major transformation as well. All right, something is ending. And like I said, it's a rebirth. It's going to be different this time around. I feel like this difference is actually going to be um, something that is going to bring more stability and more of a tight bond within, within this connection. So, um, yeah, this was the most positive reading <laughs> so far from all the zodiac signs. Wow, Cancer. And I'm happy to see this because I feel like we've had some pretty negative readings um, in the past. So I do see something coming in for you. This might not even be a person that is from your past. This could even be something um, completely new, okay? Because I do also get that. And if that's the case for you, if there isn't somebody here from your past, or if you feel like that is like completely done and you're sure of that, then this could even be somebody coming in. And it's because you have been taking care of yourself and working towards removing negative perspectives from your energy. 
and um, really facing some inner demons or some inner fears that you may have been having. All right, and that's moving you towards that wish fulfillment and somebody's coming in with something very, very beautiful here. And it's going to be very different, again, from something from your past, regardless if it's somebody new or if it's the same person. All right, Cancer. So if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get your final oracle message. And we have Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic. Yeah, this reading did definitely felt magical. <laughs> so there you go. Those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.